why the fuck would you think it would be proper or okay to then write that in your review that like she died but margot robbie bad so maybe she would have been better what um variety what the fuck um <laughs> so uh to give everybody a long fucking you know uh summary here basically uh a writer i guess maybe uh a freelance writer for Variety uh, wrote a review for um, Promising Young Woman, um, which is a uh, um, uh, which is a uh, a movie starring um, uh, Carrie Mulligan, right? Uh, where basically she she's like kind of like a um, a femme fatale who essentially runs into all these douchebag dudes uh, and essentially does like fucked up shit to them, you know, because they're essentially more or less trying to like date raper you know uh at least as far as my understanding i actually want to watch the film and it was my goal to watch uh the film before the podcast but that didn't happen um but we're still going to talk about it nonetheless um long story short called again it was um promising uh, young woman is what yeah promising young woman i'm I'm trying to Um, put it up on so essentially variety did this review of the film right uh and part of that review uh and this was done by i guess this dude uh uh Derek, or I'm sorry, Dennis Harvey, essentially, essentially the person who wrote the review. Um, so he uh, he wrote like the specific words that he wrote that are kind of like the point of contention here was that uh, he wrote Mulligan, uh, a fine actress, seems a bit odd, uh, a bit of an odd choice as this admittedly many layered apparent femme fatale. Margot Robbie, uh, who is a producer here um, and one can and perhaps easily imagine the role might have once been intended for her. Uh, whereas uh, with the star <laughs> Cassie uh, wears her pickup bait gear like a, a bad drag. Uh, even her long blonde hair seems uh, a put on. So that's what he wrote, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, as a, re- as part of his review for a promising young woman. Now, uh, I, well, let, let's start here. Let's start here. Let's start with how stupid Dennis Harvey is. He, and here's the reason, right? Um, with a film that's essentially about, uh, you know, basically uh, uh, men critiquing women or approaching women a certain way, especially in this Me Too era that we're in. Um, and that's in no sort of small part of what this film, at least to my understanding, is about. It's 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 about sort of like the perception of women, right? And how men treat women, right? Why the fuck would you think it would be proper or okay to then write that in your review that like, she's all right, but Margot Robbie bad. So maybe she would have been better. What? Like, are you... Are you, uh, in the immortal words of Remy Ma, are you dumb? <laughs> are you That's dumb? the only way I can, I can respond to that stupidity. Take it away, Ray. All right. So context, right? I got to give a little bit more context here. Uh, so again, this film, uh, Promising Young Woman starring Carrie Mulligan, uh, talks about like a young woman traumatized by a tragic event in her past seeks out vengeance against those who cross her right and obviously these um you know she's you know traumatized i think she had like a you know maybe she was attacked by a man or something like that so she's seeking out vengeance against men um so here's what happens in situations like these it happens to women all the time whether you're in uh the work environment where you know men may want you to dress a certain way like oh that skirt should be a little bit tighter or uh, that blouse should be a little bit cuter or like you should maybe think about dolling up a little bit, wearing a little bit more makeup when you come into the office, you know, uh, to send those emails. Like, what? why do I have to look a certain way to to, to, to do some graphic designs, right? Um, you know, I remember a couple of years ago, uh, an incident happened with Serena Williams, right? Who is like one of the greatest athletes on the planet Earth. Not the greatest like female athlete, just greatest athlete in general. Yeah. Um, she was doing this interview and and, you know, a lot of the male reporters were like, Oh, why don't you smile enough? You know, uh, you, you you look prettier and more approachable and more presentable when you smile, right? But that's not something they would ever say to to like, Tom Brady like or like Fredder or Nadal. They wouldn't yeah, be exactly. like, "Hey, Nadal, why don't you ever smile, buddy? Why don't you just smile a bit more?" Everybody would just be like, "What the fuck are you?" To shut up. Yeah. Next question. So, you know, to, to, to like a, a man would never get a question like that. Yeah. Uh, so Dennis, uh, Dennis Harvey's review of the film, uh, unfortunately for him, and he didn't have the, uh, the, 
he wasn't able to see the bigger pictures that he was looking mostly at like, she's not attractive to me. So this film doesn't make sense. Like they should have put a prettier girl in there. Someone like a Margot Robbie, who it would have made more sense that she would have gotten, you know, hit on or harassed by these men. And Carrie Mulligan just isn't pretty enough to carry this, this particular role. Um, and then he goes on to comment about her, like her hair wasn't quite right. And just finds ways to attack um, Carrie Mulligan's character's appearance versus like being objective and just judging the film on its own by like what he thought about the film, the character, the storyline, the music, the, 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 the costume, the casting, all that stuff. So um, very fucking stupid. Very stupid. Very stupid. Uh, very stupid indeed. Um, okay. So, okay. So I think we can both concur that Dennis Harvey was fucking stupid for even if he fucking thought that why the fuck would you think that would be an appropriate thing to write in a review in a fucking major publication that seems like I would have to, I don't know Dennis Harvey I would have to assume he's white because only a white dude would have the fucking <laughs> would think I'm gonna write that and that it's just gonna slip right by everybody right yeah dude, um, I don't know because he's got a very like he's got like two black names that I don't often see Dennis together. and Harvey Right. So, I mean, I know a lot of black I, dudes named Dennis. What? Uh, all right. I guess. I, what? Yeah, right. Let's and then pull up I, a I know picture I, of Dennis Harvey. And, and then Harvey on, is on. like, you know, most of the people I know whose last names are Harvey are black guys, right? But like Dennis and Harvey together, I feel like that's like a white guy name. Uh, Separately, yeah. <laughs> I would go, oh, that's probably a black guy. Together, white guy. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, in either way, he he has the the uh, the moves of a of a white guy here. That that seems like a very white guy thing to do is to write something that clearly now fucking was he work. entirely wrong? And and again, uh, to, whoa, 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 to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Time, out, time out, time out, Before we get there, before we get there, okay? I know. Well, I'm gonna say let's, something that's gonna probably upset a lot of people. Uh, probably. Uh, but but let's go here first before we get there. Um. So Dennis Harvey, I think is that I was a stupid move on his part, right? But for one the audacity of variety to do what they did afterwards. Right. So the, this art, you know, this review comes out, um, Carrie Mulligan, um, basically like responds to it and says, Whoa, what the fuck? Like Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, and she, she has a pretty poignant response to, to, to the whole scenario, but then variety had the audacity, the audacity, I say to then go out and be like, Dennis Harvey, who what? this freelance dude has been writing for us for all these years. Nah, I don't know that guy. He just went rogue. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. You know, he showed up last week, even though he's been, you know, he's written review after review after review for us. Um, but then not only did they fucking just basically were like, well, Dennis Harvey, what say you? Uh, we don't know anybody like that. Um, they, they were like, we agree with what uh, Carrie Mulligan said, but here's the glitch in that, that thing. Are you telling me nobody fucking reviews what leaves right, like what gets printed in Variety or what gets published on the fucking website? Do you think, are, are we to, to believe that he just went rogue and was just like, I'm putting this shit up right away. Nobody, somebody yeah. else looked at it. Somebody else approved it and said, yeah, no, that's good to go run it. You know, so this clearly cleared something uh, in order to get published. But then not only that, it they're essentially trying to say like, oh, like we, we don't agree with anything he said, but if you don't agree with anything that he said, why the fuck did you uh, publish it then? Like now, now in, in all fairness, there may have been like an, an editor, a chief editor or something like that. Like maybe it was a guy um, who read this and said, oh, you know, I see nothing wrong with it. Let's put it out. Or maybe they anticipated, uh, you know, this, this stirring of the pot, right? Because, you know, one bad article gets put out, right? If you're variety and, you know, a controversial article gets put out, then other news outlets write their stories about your article or their responses to your article that puts out so it amplifies you know your 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 message right and then then what do you do if you're variety you say oh you know what we didn't agree with that thing we apologize we're sorry blah 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 but either way you've been the talk of the town for or at least like you know during this news cycle um so does variety like does anybody do you look at this and do you think like varieties to blame and you're never going to like read a variety magazine again you're never going to read another variety article not really because they can just say oh it was dennis harvey's fault we're going to throw him under the bus we may or may not work with him again but damn you've been this new you've owned this new cycle 
Yeah, not necessarily. No, uh, because not in in the kind of like the the circles that this 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 affects, right? Like, so uh, you know, and what was interesting was watching all of like the articles basically saying over like ver, like basically other publications going to like kind of not not Variety's defense, but essentially agreeing with Variety that they're distancing themselves from Dennis Harvey. Uh, that's what's been kind of funny to when I was looking into it. That was what was funny to see was all the articles like it was like they just copy and pasted the same fucking lines from Variety's article of just like uh, Variety didn't really have anything to do with this shit. It was Dennis Harvey, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, but what I would say is is that they have a stain um, on their face because of uh, in those circles, I'm sure. And again, anybody who's watching this can feel free to correct me, but in those circles, I'm sure it's, it's kind of like, especially in this me too era, that's one thing you don't want to fucking do, right? Like that's, that's one thing you don't want to fucking promote right is is basically this idea that you're stuck in fucking 1924 uh and you know criticizing a woman because of her looks um is like the appropriate thing to do much less a film like this that's actually speaking fucking directly to that that's so fucking tone deaf it's unfathomable how, how tone deaf that is and how you couldn't like how somebody along the way couldn't be like ah, maybe maybe we should take that line out like the rest of it's cool but maybe we should take that line out. I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, like e- even just to pull some like um, uh, quotes from this, uh, this particular story that I read on Vanity Fair with they, uh, you know, the, the one that's titled Carrie Mulligan responds to um, Variety's apology for promising young woman. Like she goes on to say, like she read the Variety review because quote unquote, I'm weak. And, you know, she was like, she was kind of surprised at how uh, this guy's review was basically just saying like, she's not good looking enough to play this role. Maybe Margot Robbie should have played it instead. Um, and then there's this one particular line here where she says that, where, uh, so and I'll just read it word for word. It says, uh, it drove me crazy, Mulligan said to the Times. I was like, really, for, for this film, you're going to write something that is so transparent now in 2020? I just couldn't believe it. So in, in, just to kind of f- repeat what you said, how how stupid can you be <laughs> in you know 2021, right, when... Uh, saying anything like this anything that whether it's body shaming whether it's homophobic xenophobic whether it's um you know all lives matter type of shit or if you're like supporting the the insurrectionists that stormed the capital are these really like sensitive social topics right now um how dumb can you be to and i'm and i wonder what he was doing when he wrote this article like i i need a little bit of like background here like what was he doing like i feel like he had just finished jerking off or something like that he's on pornhub or something like that and he's like oh shit i got 15 minutes to write this review um or like i don't know maybe he was like maybe his wife left him recently so he's like you know what i'm not fuck women you know Jesus uh, i i wonder what's going on like how you could be so stupid and so tone deaf to say something like this and to be like you know not objective, right? To say, uh, maybe it was a good movie, but like the chick playing the main role isn't good looking enough. Like, well, I, I, I don't, I don't think you, I don't think you really need to be doing anything. And I know obviously, you know, <laughs> like I know where you're going with that, but I, I don't think you really need to. I think you just need to be like a, a, a white dude who's been fucking writing reviews forever and nobody yeah. says shit to you about anything. So you're just like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'll just so, do it. Cause I, I can <laughs> fuck it. Um, he, yeah. he, basically his review was like, you know, if she was walking, if Carrie Mulligan was like walking down the street, you know, I would look back at her ass, but I wouldn't stalk her. You know, she's not hot enough. Like, you Fair know, enough, <laughs> it's, I, like, it's like, dude, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Especially, yeah. I wouldn't uh, stalk her. She's not good looking enough. Uh, like, yo, yeah, dude, you're Which is like so a preposterous thought. Like that, that, anyways, we, we can jump into the whole that, like, the, the, his, like, the idea of that, right? Like, oh, somebody's not, like, that's like the same shit that, like, what Trump would say at, like, a fucking rally, right? It's just like, you know, all these women accusing me, does it look like I would fuck with any of them? And it's like, yeah. Jesus Christ, I don't, I feel like that's, that's like, like less, in fact, you know, one might argue uh, that you'd feel even more emboldened uh, to, to do some shit or to try some shit with somebody who you thought, like, Oh, nobody would ever suspect this. And it's just like in your own stupid fucking feeble mind, you know, somehow that fucking makes sense or is justified. Um, but in any event, um, 
I don't know. I, I we saw the story and uh, we're, we're talking about it. Uh, the only conclusion I have is uh, both Dennis Harvey and Variety are fucking dumb as shit for <laughs> for for publishing it. Whoever the fuck's fault it was, you know, in in the situation. Um, I think watching, you know, reading. The, like writing something like that after watching the movie means that you didn't really fucking like watch the movie. I would have to assume after, again, I haven't watched the movie yet, um, mm-hmm. but knowing the fucking themes and everything that it's, that it's talking about, one would have to assume that that should be like the last thing that you come out with a movie uh, with, which means you didn't really give a shit about the movie itself. You're just looking at it through uh, some, some lenses that, uh, is honestly, it's it's laughable that you you, you thought that yeah, that would it's be inappropriate you know reaction. within the first five minutes of the movie, I would imagine uh, you're going to be able to get past the fact that like from the from like this line from the nose up, Carrie Mulligan very cute from like the nose down, not so much. Uh, <laughs> looks a little like she looks like an older woman from the nose down. Um, right, we, we're going to strike that so, from the fucking. But for the uh, most part, for, we're going to strike that part, from the comment books. Uh, I agree with Variety, and he <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, he, <laughs> he's a dick for having said that. Not me. He. Uh, apparently you're a dick too so we'll just <laughs> we'll just move on from there all right okay that was uh let us know in the comment section below what you thought of that whole scenario with uh with carrie mulligan um you know uh and uh and yeah uh let us know what you think about variety and dennis harvey and apparently a rain too <laughs> but uh don't judge me 